I think just in general, the quality of tanks that we've received has over, grown exponentially. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good morning, Tillians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle. And I'm Den. And this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are doing part eight, I think, reacting to you guys' tanks. And if not eight, nine. Okay. <laughs> if you want the chance to send your stuff in earlier, make sure to go over to Patreon because Patreon knew about this like a week or two ago. So they got to send in their stuff super early. Before we get started, I did just want to throw out there that I am aware that there's been multiple changes to minimum tank sizes. So just to prevent me from saying over and over, there's been changes to tank sizes, we're just saying that now. So make sure to go on to somewhere like Reptifiles and just check to see if you are meeting those minimum tank size requirements, I know that we are upgrading tanks now. <laughs> Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to do emails first. What? Hello. <laughs> Did you, were you going to say something? <laughs> I was, but then I withdrew. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the first one is from Andre, who sent pictures of his bearded dragon, Thorn. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. It is. Arcadia. Really cool. Yeah, thank you. I was just You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I love that. I love how he has like the little round cork hide, but then he puts the other one on top of it to just make it look more like a den. Oh, that actually is really cool. I didn't notice uh -huh. that. These are cool. You got a bunch Those of real plants. Yeah, Sansevieria and cactuses and other cac other succulents that I don't know the name of. Uh, I also too love just how this builds up over here. This is, is this two dens or maybe they're just two entrances to the same den? Yeah, this looks. There's really a dragon in there. There is where? Where do you see a dragon? Right there. You see him? Oh, an act. I thought you meant like, the no, no, no. dragon. <laughs> They're book holders or book stops. Bookends. Yeah. This is really yeah. cool. Yeah. Fantastic. A lot of really cool ideas in here. Oh, Whoa, go back to the top. That was curved rock. How did you do that? <laughs> did you do that? Did you find that? Yeah. That's awesome. That is. This is probably one of the coolest basking platforms that I've ever seen. Uh huh. Oh, like the little dragon. I'm sure he is happy. This is a great start. Yeah, not even a great start. Like that's... <laughs> no, I mean, this is a great start to the video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great first tank. Yeah, it is. If you look too, there's UV, there's actually UVB on both sides. It goes that way and then this one runs this way. Yeah, this is really cool. Fantastic. Front opening tank, absolutely beautiful, very naturalistic, maybe bioactive, I'm not really sure. Live plants though and UVB, basking, Arcadia, fantastic. Thermostats, good job you. We have Amanda, baby northern blue tongue skink. This is really nice. This is, is very nice. full. Very jungle. Very first, the yeah. very first thing that I noticed is that this is very full and that is always wonderful. For blue tongue skink right there at the top. Yeah. So we, oh, that's actually what's going to be my question is, could he get up there? The answer is yes. Yeah. yeah, it looks like, look, there's a whole ramp. There's lots of substrate at the bottom. Blue tongue skinks do very much enjoy digging. Yeah, ours never comes out. <laughs> he comes out to attack me on a regular basis. Oh yeah, to attack you. But yeah, this looks he looks really pretty. I wish I had a closer picture of him. He looks he's like he just he's so cute. I love blue tone skinks. I do that ninety percent he gives me. I don't know. I don't really know. Because it might also could be a three. Yeah. I don't know what number this is. But yeah, this looks really good. Maybe. Yeah, what is it this like in the corner? A moss in it, maybe. Okay. maybe it's like a, a impromptu like moist time. Um yeah, I think this looks really good. I don't know what your like temperatures or humidity or anything is in this tank, but northern blue tongue skinks usually like lower humidity, so I mean it's probably fine. <laughs> yeah, she even got like the background around her. Tank oh, I didn't even notice that. Probably makes it look a bit more full. Yeah, that looks really cool. Another great UVB. Tank. Yeah. And a blue tongue skink. I love blue tongue skinks. Yeah. Like it's nice. Those are some fun tanks. Yeah, my only, I think, suggestion is when you get your forefoot, make sure it's just as full as this one because this one is very full and very nice. We have Asher. Asher has sent us tanks before too. From Asher's Amphibians and Reptiles. Welcome back, Asher. 24 by 18 by 14 for an emerald tree skink and a 15 gallon blue and green dart frog tank and an 18 inch cube dune gecko tank. Oh, a bunch of very interesting animals that we don't see a lot of. First, we have the emerald tree skink and this Oh, there he is. They're nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Emerald Tree Skink, the one that Clint's Reptiles was super excited about. I think so. He's talking about how it was the best pet. How mm -hmm. is it? Is it a good pet? Yeah. Is that... What is your experience with the Emerald Tree Skink? This is really nice. Very full. Your Dracaena plant that the skink is on is so full. I can never get mine to grow that much. Yeah, this is a very full and very 
green tank. Nice. Oh, the background. It almost looks like the background that came with it that was added on to. Maybe not. Maybe, mm. doesn't it? You can kind of see in there. Mm -hmm. Looks like there was moss and stuff. Just, maybe you made the whole thing. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Yeah, looks like there's a like a hide. Oh, that's really cool. The cork bark hide. Oh, so you can get behind it. Looks like there's UVB on top, basking on top. All right, next is the dart frog tank, which again, so green and so full. Ah, there it is. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> got excited. Did you just release him in there? Is that why the cup is in there? It looks like this is a um, fruit fly oh. culture. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know much about frogs. I mean, I assume it might not. Have, he might have just released him in there. No idea. Is it just the one? Don't. don't no, I think there's. I think there was. You have like a colony, right? Yeah, it says dark frog tank. I'm assuming there's more than one. Be amazing, but I just don't like to work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. It's very green. I admire your ability to grow plants. I wish that I had that ability. As always, yeah, lots of hiding room in those plants. Yeah. And I'm sure it holds a lot of humidity because it looks like it holds a lot of humidity. And then the third one is a dune gecko tank. I wonder if I, I don't see know it. what that is. Is that one of those like light brown ones? Uh, yeah. These are just stock photos that I found, but these amazing little creatures are dune geckos. They're so cool. I like your background. <laughs> that's a very but, nice uh, background. I think that's, is that excellent? That driftwood or that wood is fantastic. That's yeah, a great that's, centerpiece. That is absolutely beautiful mm. driftwood. Yeah, that's. This is nice. I don't know anything about um, dune geckos other than they are a desert species. That's all I got because <laughs> of dune. <laughs> Because of the dunes. Speaking of which, I can't wait to see that. But yeah, this looks really good. This looks very deserty, and I like how you were able to fill it up. I like how you were able to fill it up while like still keeping it desert themed. I feel like that's very difficult to do. Sir, <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah, fantastic. We have. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry, Thierry from Belgium. I don't know. Hello to Belgium. <laughs> I don't know how to say your name and I'm so incredibly sorry. I'm not going to try. I can't even pronounce her name. Okay. <laughs> First reptile, Rudy the Beardy. We got him last week. It's set up five foot by two foot by two foot. Substrate for now is false grass or turf. Later when he's older, going for play sand and topsoil. Love that. Arcadia, 14% T5. Linear UVB. Great. Fantastic. Exoterra Solar Glow, 125 watt for basking. Fantastic. Extra ceramic heater for colder months. Oh. That is nice. What is it for? Beard Dragon. Oh, Beard Dragon. Oh, there he is. Oh, man, that thing is massive. Yeah, it's five foot by two foot by two foot. I'm sorry. There was a lot of words there. I was having a hard time <laughs> keeping up. This Dragon's is... got room. Yeah. Where is the dragon? Way over here on this log. Oh, there he is. Little baby. Mm -hmm. Baskin. Love that you have a cage over the um, Baskin bowl. I always have people ask me, how can they fix the UVB light inside of the cage? And I've never seen someone do it like with that. a cage before. Very tropical. It is very tropical. Yeah, for extra heat. Dinosaur bones and stuff. Yeah, this is Very really Jurassic. nice. Yeah, you even have extra heat there. Bogus. Is that real? I don't think any of them are real. They're fake plants. They're you fake fooled plants. me. You are doing a very good job. I mean, the only suggestion I'd have is to not have the turf, but you've already said you're getting rid of the turf, so I have nothing. Yeah. This looks fantastic. We have Mocha. I think this probably submitted last time too. I wanna say, love your channel, appreciate all you do. Thank you so much. I feel like I read that like it said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, you as in you were replying back? Yeah, I was replying. Thank no, you like, so much. It did sound like. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you so much. There we go. Ball Python PETA is enclosure. Just got him UVB a week ago. He's been coming out a lot more and he enjoys it. See, I love that. Like people weren't just giving Ball Pythons UVB and here we are. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, the more comfortable they are, the more they'll actually come out. Sticks, they found them all and sterilized them. Decor is from Michaels. Your money saving video helps a lot. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I was actually thinking I need to do another one of those, but I don't know what to do. Look at that. First oh. of all, your ball python is beautiful. <laughs> you whisper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's, beautiful it is beautiful. You I love found these. this driftwood? Is it chewed? Maybe. Maybe it's like beaver chewed. That'd be cool. It but it's looks, really cool. Kind of looks beaver chewed. So I just want to clarify, right you there, found this driftwood, because this is the coolest driftwood I've ever seen in my life. Uh -huh. All the plants, so much enrichment, all the climbing room for a ball yeah. python. Love that so much. Was he just all sprawling out like that or did you actually like put him on there. This looks really good background yeah. so much. Oh yeah. We've seen mo these multiple times. It just makes the tanks look so full in the best way. Yeah, this looks really good. Oh, that is real, I think. Look like there's a little sprout right there, doesn't it? Are your plants real or fake? Okay, but yeah, this looks fantastic. Great. Love it. 10 out of 10. My name is Tim and these are my tanks. The first one is for my shield. 
Tailed Agama. Michi. She is in a 36 by 18 by 18 Rapti Zoo. UVB. Heat lamp on a dimmer switch. Plus ceramic heat emitter on a thermostat. Fantastic Ooh. for nighttime. Oh, that is so cool. I've never seen that before. Me either. It looks so cool. Just basking on that alligator skull. Oh, look at that tail. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know anything about shield tailed agamas. Obviously, we just found out about them right now. There's a lot to do here. There's climbing and hiding, and there's a big layer of substrate. Maybe they burrow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do they climb? <laughs> yeah. Do what? they climb? Do they burrow? What do they do? Um, let's see a little salad bowl there. Yeah, this looks really cool. Really full. Cool. Yeah. I feel like this would be really good for like a leopard gecko too. Yeah. The second is a leopard gecko bandit in a 48 by 18 by 18 Repti Zoo. She has a UVB and a deep heat projector on a dimming thermostat. I see you have your feeding blackboard or whiteboard, dry erase board chart going on up there. Got that little moist side in there. Two moist types. Is that a moist type? Lots of hiding. There's the ability to climb. I mean, this looks very good. Yeah. It's a very good desert substrate. You have linear UVB on top for your um, leopard gecko, which fantastic. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Third is for my bearded dragon, Buttercup. She's in a six foot by two foot by two foot. Then habitat, UVB and heat lamps on dimmer switches. Lots of enrichment. Oh, yeah. oh it's a, I think it's a dig box. A dig box that they can go on top of. Yeah. Very, very cool. Love that you have a dig box. Dig boxes, look at all the command strips. <laughs> <laughs> dig boxes, super important for beer dragons, especially yeah. if this is a female beer dragon to prevent them from becoming egg bound. And I love that it's just part of the tank. I love too that you have her name across it really big in vinyls. I always get really scared when we make vinyls that they're gonna be like too big or mm -hmm. too small and I never know what size to make them, but this looks really good. Yeah, very. Look at that UVB, it goes across the whole six foot. So excited about that dig box. I got nothing. Yep, good job. <laughs> Next, we have Megan. Love your videos. This is Juvenile Beer Dragons 40 gallon. I'm working on her adult, adult enclosure now, but she's been very happy here for a while. A light place that isn't entirely accurate here. UVB overlaps the basking and I have a plant light as well. This looks really cool. Is that floating? Looks like that's floating and she just Maybe. prop those up. So I can get up there. Does your bearded dragon climb up there? I'm sure she does. I'm sure oh, she does climb up there. Tree. That'd be like, cool. Like, it's like it an like elephant it's... something. I feel like I had one of those, but it was only like this big and it died. Really the story cool. of all your plants. Yes. This looks really good, really full. The leaf litter definitely makes this tank look very full. And I am sure your bearded dragon likes to ruffle around in there. The background that kind of blends in with the oh, tree. Yeah. I also like how they can get under the basking spot. Mm -hmm. There's like a hide over here. Is this a mushroom? What is that? Maybe. That looks like it. Yeah. Love mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> I just thought it was coming. Well, now you put me on the spot. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was laughing. Speaking of mushrooms, have you checked out our shop? All right, next is a 75 gallon for a rescued red eared slider. That's really That's cool. Great, yeah. So every red eared slider tank that we see just has like the plastic docks, which there's nothing wrong with those, but the way that you did this is so cool. Like just a natural wood area for them to climb up on that is fantastic yeah because when you're out in the wild you always just see them on wood yeah this is really cool i see them on wood more than the shore oh the little what's it called like the algae the uh no. lily pads no the... duckweed they're called duckweed oh i was never going to say that <laughs> uh yeah this is really really cool this almost makes me want to get a turtle i feel like i say that every time mm. that's so cool look at that actually what this makes me want to do is get a fish tank with like something really cool like that I in there. I kind of want the fish tank too. But we, we don't, don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. I loved it. Yeah, and then you the call it substrate? And gravel? Tank. I couldn't think of the word. Gravel. Okay, anyways. Oh, you're still there. <laughs> Oh, there's an up close to this. Oh, look, there's a, he's actually using it. He's oh, using is he up the there? Thing. Yeah, that's so oh, cool. That's, yeah, that's cool. Because he can stand on it mm -hmm. underwater. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you for all that you do. Love your energy and wish you all happiness and success. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. I love, so I like this, the water has like a very slight tint to it. And I'm assuming it's because of all the tannins from all the wood, but mm -hmm. like, I really like that because it just makes it look, like it makes it look like a little pond. It yeah. makes it look like an indoor pond. Mm -hmm. Should we get a turtle? No. Okay. Haley with a jeweled Lacerda. Only had him for four months. I don't know how old he is. Currently in 120 gallons. Jeez, 120 gallons? Oh, actually, I don't know what that is. It just sounded big. <laughs> Has a moist hide, but I will soon have to change because he is getting big. There he is. This is a gamma, you said? I said jeweled Lacerda. Where did I get a gamma from? What'd you say this was? <laughs> it was a jeweled Lacerda. Jeweled Lacerda. Jeweled Lacerda. Oh, Lacerda. <laughs> 
Jeweled Lacerda. Yes. Okay, this is really cool. I love how you use the coconut hide. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use a coconut hide. A little floating hide. Yeah, in a place that wasn't like, like a gecko tank. So that's actually really cool. There's basking, there's linear UVB. I don't know anything about Jules Lacerdas. I yeah. think all of my knowledge is pretty much what we got. Yeah. We don't have one of those. But, I mean, it looks good. It's a very big tank. They said they're going to be upgrading it soon? No. <laughs> I didn't. He has a moist hide, but I will soon have to change because he's getting big. I think they're changing the moist oh, hide. Oh, now do you see where I got confused? Nope. I'm also planning. <laughs> I'm also planning on adding more stuff to his background because it's boring right now. Yeah, I think that was going to be my only suggestion yeah. is just adding more stuff. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ventilation going around there. I wonder what kind of tank this is. Or did you build this tank? I feel like this also could be a tank that someone built. All right, what are your thoughts? What are my thoughts? I mean, I don't know nothing about this lizard. I can't even say its name. Thank you for your feedback. I'm being serious. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. I think you are one of two or maybe three people that have ever sent Angel the sort of. <laughs> Robert, I've been watching your videos for so long, hoping to be featured in one of them. Well, here you are. Welcome. Welcome, Robert. First time Reptile Keeper. Her name is Taquito. Taquito's life on Insta. I'm 120 by 60 by 60 in close. How many inches is 120 centimeters? So a four foot tank. Oh. Arcadia, 14%. UVB, basking. Sorry for the dirty glass. <laughs> our, the glass on our tanks are always dirty. Yeah. You, no need to apologize. We don't apologize. <laughs> Keep doing such. Also from Germany. That's two. Oh. oh, video. That's exciting. This is really nice. I do. I do really like that. I love your background. I really like how, I don't know what's going on there. It just is like really slanty. Oh yeah, I guess so, about. yeah. I don't know what's going on, but it's cool as that's that's cool <laughs> i love to like i don't know if it's intentional but i always love it when you got that warm light and that cool light i also it makes like two different color yeah, variants i love that gradient so yeah. much it looks very desert to me this is a big bearded dragon oh my that is a very big bearded dragon that's a big beard that's a healthy looking salad though yeah it is oh, that's good it's always very exciting when people from other countries mm -hmm. send us pictures because other countries standards for reptile care is generally quite better than ours but yeah this looks really cool i love the background did you make that background it looks like you did and you did a good job and also love how there's scenery on the sides actually that's probably contributing oh. to the warm and cool light effect because there's orange that is a big dragon that is a big dragon <laughs> thank you for sending me the video yeah. i love when there's videos because then we can overlay video mm -hmm. it's fantastic it's not just us the whole time <laughs> yeah this looks fantastic um i don't know if your bearded dragon is like a a German giant? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. That is a thing. That is a thing. And they are in Germany. <laughs> yeah. Or, German giant. But your tank, your setup is beautiful. Lots of hides, lots of basking, lots of climbing area, but also lots of room to run around. Fantastic. Beautiful. This is the last email from Emily. You guys reacted to my tank in the last tank reaction video, and I thought I'd share the update on Toothless's oh. Leopard Gecko new and improved tank. Lighting and husbandry is practically the same. He does now have Josh's Frog's bioactive arid desert substrate. Thank you guys so much for all the help you've been. But they are real plants, and they probably need more light. Yeah, my only suggestion is to go bigger if you can, because they definitely will appreciate more room, but everything else looks great. Yeah. I don't know, but this looks really nice. Love the hammocks everywhere Ooh. all the climbing this looks really nice oh there's multiple hides including a humid hide climbing area very full rubber ducky mm -hmm. love that you added that arid loose substrate so that way he can climb and have a jolly good time get multiple hides multiple climbing linear uvb on top yeah this looks really really good i don't know if any of this is the advice we gave you but it's looking great <laughs> and it is and if any of this is the advice we gave you good job us okay <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so that is all the emails now we are off to Instagram. So first we have Alyssa. This is my leopard gecko Casper. 40 gallon. Plan to make his tank bioactive soon. Love that. Hey, is that white sand? What's going on in the bottom? Paper towel? Maybe it's because you're always just like this. <laughs> and I'm just like... I am trying my best, sir. There's that background I love. Very full. Lots of hide. Humid hide. Water dish. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Um, there's basking on top. <laughs> Casper is a fitting name. <laughs> he is an owner surrender. I took him from my job. I'm a vet tech. Oh, that's cool. I always wondered if, like, vet techs take animals home. I think the only... 
Well, actually, no, because I'm pretty sure that's UVB. I was going to suggest to put UVB on top, but I'm, I feel like that second one is a UVB light. But yeah, this is good. Lots of enrichment. Mm. Uh, you said you're going to go bioactive. Love that. Yeah. Your leopard gecko. Is yeah, that's really the only thing that I would suggest is just a different substrate. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Mm. And I mean, plus, if she just brought this leopard gecko home, it makes sense that he'd be on paper towel. You know, it's nice that we never have to hear anything about like loose substrate versus not not a loose substrate. Yeah. How like, I feel like they were, that was everywhere for so long. Great. And that's all anyone ever talked about. I'm so happy. That's not something we have to hear anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were also talking about it though. Yeah. We were part of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, reverse Okati albino corn. This is from Caps Creations. That's really cool. Oh, we're still setting up the tank. Oh, there it is. That, that was just the background, it looks like. So there's the fully set up tank. That is awesome. Oh, I love your background. Yeah, the background oh, is God. amazing. See, it's that, the background is actually all those hides. Uh -huh. That is so cool. That's cool. I want to know what that is. Where did that come from? There's like a, a buried humid hide. This is so cool. Who's this character? Is that Indiana Jones? Looks like it. Yeah, there's a boulder. <laughs> there's a boulder chasing Indy. This is really cool. You've got a big, nice big water dish. There's room for your corn snake to burrow. And looks like there's actually like little hidden hides. And the background is the majority of this tank. And that's yeah. really cool. I can just get all in there. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That is such a cool background. Uh, I mean, maybe add a little bit of greenery to the front. I mean, yeah. just to kind of fill in the front a little bit, but not too much because I still want to see that background. Yeah. Bird skull. Yeah, that is really cool. I've actually never seen one of those. Mm, yeah. I like how he can climb up there too. Yeah, I think that's the only yeah, thing that I would say too. Like just maybe add a few more greenery in the front, but this is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I that background is just so cool. Um, all right, next we have Kyle. Oh, for one of my bigger ball pythons. That is nice. Yeah, it is very full. Yeah, it's the same tank that's over there. Oh, the King Snakes tank? Yeah. Oh. Super full. Where's, I wonder if you can see the ball python. That one of those things that you said is not a beehive. Yeah, I told you it's not a beehive. It's some hey, sort of plant. Some, like one of those plastic things for a water dish. It's like one of those plastic. That's cool to the It doesn't pull too much attention. That's really cool. I like this a lot. Mm -hmm. I am curious if your ball python crushes everything in its path, but it doesn't seem like it. It seems like these are solid. Because we had Sterling in a bioactive and he killed every single one of those plants. Mm -hmm. He's a murderer. But this looks so good. I like how like long. Let me just come over here with you. <laughs> I like how long oh, hey. and tube-like these cork bark pieces are because like you can just like slither through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. This is really, really pretty. I kind of also like how it just kind of all builds up to the center. Yeah. It looks very too. snaked in. Mm -hmm. It was great. Yeah. There we go. There's something. Oh, was I not contributing? Not a lot. Oh, my apologies. I was just so uh, shock and awe. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks great. Rayline? 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 I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I love watching your channel. First photo is the one I was hoping you'd react to. Can you see Noodle? The other photos are Noodle in her favorite spots. I can't wait to watch the new video. Oh, this is really, really nice. Yeah, this is like a really cool, like night themed, almost day theme. Yeah, this is really cool. That is. I love that tree. The tree would be nice for our snake what discovery tree? project over here. Oh, it would. Where'd you get that tree? It almost looks like the tree that we had that one time that uh, Wade would always climb on when he was a baby. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Um, very full. You have so much burrowing room for your corn snake. Super cute. So much climbing room. I love this vine that wraps through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, it's not, I don't think it's a dark theme. I think the picture was taken at nighttime it and they turned a light on. It looks really cool. It does look really cool. It was wrapped around this plant. This is the cutest little picture. These pictures are definitely, going, oh, crystals. These pictures are definitely going in. Yeah, great, great take. Yeah, I have no suggestions. It's full, there's climbing. There's burrowing, there's a big water dish, um, lots of hiding areas, obviously, and very clearly your snake is super comfortable in this tank. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Oh. Clicky. Oh, dang it. Stop. Is that just a towel? <laughs> kind of a cool looking towel. It is. It is a towel. The way that the This waves. is my new baby setup right now. Substrate is coming soon. He just shed, so it's moist height. Isn't in right now. Oh, there he is. Don't look at the temp. I just put new thermometers in. His name is Nehru. This is super cute. Oh, his moist height isn't here, you said. Okay, so I don't need to say that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what size tank this is. Maybe a 10, because I have that height. Okay, so advice for this one is just bigger tank. Yeah, fill it up. Yeah, bigger tank and fill it up. Yeah, <laughs> lots of enrichment. I don't think the towel is a, a standard of substrate, but I do 
I think the towel looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the waves and stuff on that towel. Yeah, but yeah, I think my biggest advice here is to go bigger tank and fill that tank up. Yeah. You already have the two hides. You said there was also a moist hide that's not in here right now. So you're good on hides, just more enrichment and yeah. more space. Looks great. Said it's a baby-ish age. So maybe you are planning on going bigger as the leopard gecko grows. And if so, that is awesome. Okay, I think this is the last one. All right, Medisa, Medessa. Zass, the blue albino female tegu. Oh, it's a baby. Mm -hmm. It's a little baby. I, first of all, I'm very jealous of your ability to have a tegu because we can't have one. Yeah, we missed our chance. We did. I mean, obviously this tank size is good for right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's gonna get real big. Uh -huh. It's um, gonna need its own house here pretty soon. Yeah, but yeah, super cute tegu. You got hiding spaces, um, you got some digging area. Mm -hmm. I think my only suggestion is maybe add more stuff, but also at the same time, I never know because people like to just pull their tegus out and just have them out and about. So yeah. I don't know what you do with your tegu and what you let it do, but he's cute. He's cute and I'm jealous. Also, is your Zaz named after our Zaz or was that independently done? <laughs> just curious. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to hurt my feelings if it's not. I'm just legitimately curious. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch is in a Herp Colt 12 by 12 by 20. Are those blue geckos? Okay, hold on. They are electric blue day geckos. If you followed my Instagram story, I've been posting so many pictures of electric blue day geckos. Do you do stories? Oh, look at it. Oh, that's cool. Maybe some sort of lake, like a salt lake or something. <laughs> I don't know. What is this um, green thing in the top corner? That is really nice. Um, I'm assuming it's bioactive. It looks like it's bioactive with a lot of plants and leaf litter and substrate, homemade background. You got the UVB on top. Really, really cool. I love the top climbing area. That Dracaena is going to get very tall. And is that like a little palm? Those are both going to get real tall and they're going to fill up that tank. My mom won the mail in the 12 Supreme Days of Christmas this year from intrinsically ectothermic. She gave them to me and I got the female from there as well. That's interesting. So that is where you can get an electric blue day gecko. Okay. Intrinsically ectothermic. All right. That is beautiful. Next we have four morning geckos in this 12 by 12 by 18. I'm building their upgrade now. They will be getting an 18 by 18 by 24. I call this one 100 acre wood with Winnie the Pooh. Is that Winnie? Oh, oh. This is so nice. That is nice. I was actually thinking about getting a... There's another one of those little green things. Yeah. What? What is that? There's some of the dark lights or something. I don't know. What are what are these green things? I've never seen these before. It looks like there's like a liquid inside of it. But these are really cool. Love these things. I never I don't I never know how to pronounce this plant's name. Ka Kala Calathea. Is that real? Yeah, that's a real, that's a fern. This is a calathea, I think oh, is how you say it. Yeah, really good placement of those. Yeah, I always want to do these because apparently they do really good in humid tanks, but I'm scared because they're so pretty. This is the type of plant that like in the daytime it opens and at nighttime it hmm. closes. This is beautiful. The background's really cool. My only suggestion is one of our little mushroom ledges. <laughs> okay. It would fit right there perfectly. All right, next we oh. have... Jerogan, my captive bred red eyed crocodile skink from a local breeder near me named Alexis. You can find her on Crocodile Skink Lover's Facebook page. She's great to work with. I love how you are promoting all these people, and I'm just gonna promote all these people with you. I actually repurposed acrylic storage bin from TJ Maxx. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is. It's much better than ours. Yeah, it does. She's got pothos and Thank philodendron. You. That's it. That. You said it was a repurposed storage Thank bin you. from TJ Maxx. Is this an exoterra background in there? Because it looks like it. And do you ever see her? I am really curious about this storage bin from TJ Maxx, but TJ Maxx doesn't always have the same things, right? Like they rotate. We have Yoda, 18 by 18 by 24, three years old. I would love to upgrade her, but every time I try, she stops eating. Awesome for trying and awesome for noticing that that is an issue. I make sure it is super cluttered, so I'm not sure why. So any tips would be great. Everyone I've asked said just keep her in the 18 by 18 by 24 if she's comfortable. Yeah, I mean, if she's comfortable, do what makes your animal comfortable. Like, I feel like there's never... It's a big wither. <laughs> it's leechy on us. Leechy. Leechy. It's a leechy. I feel like there is never a one-size-fits-all answer to any animal. And I feel like if... Reptile. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like if like you've tried and you've noticed that it's not working, then good job noticing and just keep her comfortable. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool core park. Yeah, it is. They'll just come out and hang out with you? Yeah, they're huge. I'm, I mean, I guess. I don't know. This was, one's really cool. I wasn't cool. asking you. I was asking... I'm sorry. <laughs> they can speak for themselves. I'm almost done with this video. Okay. Um, but yeah, this looks this looks good. Very bioactive. Love the Reptar. Love 
the background. Um, it looks like you made it, and you did a very good job. I love the giant court. What are you? God, did you, were you snickering? No, I'm not snickering. Okay, I was laughing at something I was thinking about. <laughs> something I said in your head. In my head, I was okay. like, "It's a good one." Uh, did you want to share? No. <laughs> Thicker than their arm. That is the whole size. That's. So from here to to here. Well, probably to like. That's that's here. No, no, no. Look, that's the that's their wrist. There's a watch on their wrist, so it's. But that's as far as we can see. That you can see that it keeps going. They can't. That's the tip of the tail. See? Oh, is it curled? Yeah. Oh. Still, that's as about that's the huge. size of yeah. It's a huge gecko. <laughs> yeah, that's like a a bearded dragon just being a gecko. Yeah. What is? That? And then the last one. Did you think those were legs? Because I thought that they were legs. No, I didn't even notice three. Oh, from here that looks fantastic. But... Yeah, it's really nice. But I thought that was because it looked like people were just standing in it. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> saying, um, this is a white ducky isopod enclosure. I don't think they've ever been sent an isopod. That's for enclosure. bugs. Just for bugs. Or isopods. They're not as bugs. How dare you? This is really cool. I really thought that was water. I thought that was underwater. Yeah, it does look really cool. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Uh, now, now I want an isopod tank. <laughs> you just want an isopod tank? <laughs> I love these like mosses and stuff. Mm. This looks so cool. Yeah, because I have like an isopod like breeding tub, but not mm. anything like this. This is really cool. Yeah, it is. This is probably one of the prettiest tanks that we have ever seen, and it's for isopods. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, I guess you don't awesome. have to worry about the isopods stomping on everything. Oh, yeah. Everything could just grow beautifully. Yeah, we should do that. That would be really nice. That was all. Thank you guys so much for those. There were so many good ideas in there. I think we gave like three bits of yeah. advice at all the time. Amazing submissions today. So amazing. Like I said, it's just so crazy looking back to like our very first reacting tanks. You guys. Yeah, you're doing a great job because you guys now are educating the people watching the video of what the standard should be. Yeah, and us because, wow. Yeah, I um, feel like we're asking more questions than we are giving advice. Yeah. <laughs> so please answer those questions down below. Yeah, please. Um, As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by I Heart Geckos. I Heart Geckos is a really cool company that makes conversion kits for your tanks. These conversion kits are so cool. They come in and they're just a thin little um, acrylic wall thing with a door on it and you just slap that on with some, some silicone. See, I, I, helped, your, yeah. I helped you do it the first time, so I, I, I got it a little bit. Just something cool, and it turns into like just a basic old little 2020 aquarium that you're not even using no more, and bam, you turn it up right, and now you have yourself a awesome gecko tank. But yeah, you could do some really cool stuff with it. So. Yeah, you could, and I've even seen people do go full DIY and remove that top panel of glass on those tanks mm -hmm. um, and replace it with screens so they can put UVB and stuff on top. Very cool. Yeah. If you want an inexpensive way to turn a tank that you may have laying around into a front opening tank, make sure to check out iHeartGeckos.com and in the How to Hear About Us box, make sure to put Els Rep Files. That way he knows that you guys are coming from here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring these videos. If you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which, every, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here and this week's subscribe shout out is here. Thank you so much for liking, following, and subscribing and sharing and commenting and all that jazz. You are the bee's knees. Thank That's my one line. That's all I get. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye. We still on the emails? Yep. What do you mean still on the emails? We usually record for two straight hours doing these. Do you have somewhere to be? Brian? Brian Cusco? No, he made it for the snake that he brought and also gave away. Oh, is he the cheater? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. It is recording. Uh, All right. Battery died. We're back. We are back. So what were you saying? Dude. I'm working on it. Very big bearded dragon. There used to be two. He ate the other one. Don't say that. <laughs> this is why you don't collab. <laughs> Housing market these days. We can't afford a bigger place. Thanks, Lee. Unless we get some more Patreons. Sorry, you can't say that. <laughs> Sign on up. Patreon here.